and I want to um, pray that uh, this success story will continue and should go beyond uh, this room. Um, just a few things, uh, because many of the things that I will have said uh, have actually been identified by the last two speakers, and they did that uh, very well. Um, I only want to add that uh, seminars are very important, like the ones you organize here today, and certainly in your faculties, if seminars are being organized, don't see them as a waste of time. Do go in there. Uh, even if it's not directly related to your field, do ask some questions. Let people know that you are there. Um, that also comes, particularly in avoiding toxic references. Yes. <laughs> if people see you in seminars, they will always remember that uh, you are one of those people. Um, learn skills, he mentioned. I don't know how many of you are learning coding. Coding, coding, because you are all engineers and you are scientists, you know, and so on. Please do learn. For me, I cannot. You know, I just have like two or maybe less than two more years to go, uh, you know. But in any case, that's the theme of the future. Uh, whether it's here, it's England, it's UK, US, Nigeria, do that. You can do that online yourself. And you don't have to pay for that. You can do that freely. Uh, number three is entrepreneurship. Um, because I had people asking whether you want to be an academic or you want to be in the industry, you know, and so on. Put also that perspective of entrepreneurship. You never know. All these people who are looking at Elon Musk, you know, Zuckerberg, whatever, down to the local people, entrepreneurship is also key. Um, and if we are looking at ourselves back in Africa, it doesn't matter where you are in Africa. Entrepreneurship can basically set you through. Rwanda has now been appointing people who are non-Rwandese into ministerial positions. Kenya was doing that. Um, and I don't know which other country. And so there are countries, Liberia also did that. Um, I mean, you can be marketable anywhere. So we look at the bigger picture. We just don't look at, uh, you know, the smaller picture. And I say this for a purpose. In Hong Kong universities, maybe you don't know, but uh, we used to run trienniums. So every three years, uh, you know the UGC, right? Mm -hmm. So the UGC comes down on us with a lot of guidelines, you know, to change our teaching styles, you know, and so on. So our next triennial is actually entrepreneurship, global citizenship, and innovation. So we just went through previously, that was uh, outcomes-based teaching. So that means when we do course outlines, we must make sure that we identify what are the outcomes that you, know, you take away. So in the next triennium, we want to make sure that the students can be entrepreneurs, they can be global citizens, citizens, and they can also engage in innovation. So if you also take that into you know, perspective, I think that will help us a lot. Um, I hope you will be able to do that. I think finally, um, like I said earlier, I'm not so much qualified because I'm not an engineer, uh, because you guys speak a different language, I also speak a different language. Uh, but there are a few other things. Uh, please, let's try to also think ourselves not just as individuals, because as individuals we certainly will excel. You all are here because you guys are excellent. I mean, you know the selection process in Hong Kong. You must excel to be able to get to that level. But when we are collective in excellence, it also becomes more meaningful. And there is strength in numbers. So let's, uh, by all means, uh, you know, try to excel um, in that sense. So what we do is we learn from yesterday, we live for today, and basically we hope for tomorrow. Um, I hope we should be able, I um, you know, to do that. Um, I must apologize to the executives because they sent me uh, two, three emails, I think, before I responded, uh, maybe. Um, and I would have loved to be with you, you know, all the time. Like the football you guys were doing, the barbecue in Macau. You have to leave Hong Kong to go to Macau to eat a piece of meat. You know, that's, that's, that's wonderful. I would have been able to do that. Uh, but the issue is... Um, you know, sometimes I just, even Saturdays and Sundays, I will not get. I mean, 
in the last two months, I think this is like the second weekend that I'm totally free, you know, so, um, but please don't stop inviting me. If you think uh, you want to see me, just, you know, let me know. Um, I will not take any other person's time. I just want to say God bless you all. Um, and please um, make sure that if there is anything that we can do, to, I mean, like for me, for example, if there is anything I can do, I don't really know what I can do for you. But if there is anything you think I can do, um, just let me know. Of course, I do write reference letters. But if, I, but if I write reference letters, I have to see your CV that dates back. So I can write there that I know you for X number of years. Uh, and believe me, I do write at least 30 reference letters per annum. 30. I'm like, you know, the guy who knows how to write. <laughs> yeah, but, but um, that is, you know, one of the things. If there's anything you guys you think we can do, please do let us know. So once again, God bless you all, and good luck in all your undertakings. Mm -hmm.